Can you kind of just tell the story because it is it is a harrowing story, and thank and God we can long? look and and we can look at you right now and know you've healed, um, which is just so great. Listen, it was an unsafe deck that I walked out on. It was pitch black. You see that little area there between mm -hmm. that little fence? You just, there was nothing. There was no sign, there was no railing. There was nothing there. And um, it was pitch black out there with little light on the deck. Had there been a sign, I would have seen it. You see, caution. But I walked and guys, before I knew it, I was on the ground. Oh. I could not move. I was in pitch black. I was unaware that there were wild animals down there. At that point, I was unaware. I was able to wake up my traveling partner, Lori. I screamed. Thank God she woke up. And the Maasai warriors came and got me and saved me. And so they ended up having to airlift you. You end up in Nairobi. Doctors Without Borders came and got me. Yeah. Wow. Airlifted me out of the Serengeti, took me from Tanzania into Kenya. I had a nine hour surgery. They said I would be in there for ICU six days and um, 10 days in the hospital. But let me just talk about the people in Nairobi, guys. They took mm. such good care of me. I mean, come on, I was in Pampers, okay? <laughs> I, they picked me up like I was a baby. They had to wash me. I could not move. I couldn't walk for eight months after this. I didn't want y'all to know I had fallen until I was able to tell you how I got up. Anybody can fall. How do you get up? How I fought to get up every day, physical therapy. They would come for two hours, but I would work for eight hours into the night. That girl I was before I fell mm. did not know how not to get up. I didn't know how not to get up. My soul was screaming on the helicopter. Whatever this is, Jenny, <laughs> whatever this is, you'll come back. You'll come back, and I'm back. 